Hey everybody, it's your girl coming back to you, Evie B. What's up, my set souls? Okay, we're gonna do this again. You know, we always chat, you know, we always talk. Well, today we getting that mukbang on Bueno. I don't know if it's Bueno or Bueno or something, but I had a hankering for a uh, um Italian beef sandwich. So that's what I got today. I didn't get no sweet peppers because girl allergic to green peppers. We're not gonna do green peppers, but I did get a sandwich and I got some chips here. And what we're drinking on is we did stop by Subway and I was a little greedy and I drank most of it, but we're gonna go with what we got here. So it's one of those uh, Slurpees or what do they call these things? Slurpees, Slurpees, I don't know. Anyway, coming back to you again. Um, today's subject, I was trying to think what do I say? What do I, what do I talk about today? I was trying to think of something, and the only thing kept coming to my mind is what I spoke on yesterday, which was kindness. Well, today I'm gonna speak on compassion, a little bit of compassion, and we're gonna speak on frustration because I've been frustrated today, and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get a bite of this sandwich, though. It looks so good. Hold on, y'all. This is my first time going to Bueno. It's hot. Mmm. Delicioso, though. Oh, my God. For real. They talking about they are the original. Look how I'm looking at it. <laughs> they talking about they the original, um, sandwich like this, Italian beef, I can believe them. I really can. Mmm. It's good. So, let's, let's get into frustration first. Then we'll jump into compassion. I've been thoroughly frustrated. As you guys know, my set souls, you probably seen my first couple of videos. And each video will get better and better. Each video I'll be more and more focused. I'll be more ready but today just like every other day getting ready for you guys I was thoroughly frustrated couldn't get the camera to go right couldn't get the decorations to go right couldn't get to get myself focused my kids were making me angry because it just felt like they weren't trying to help me the way I needed to be helped but anyway the devil was trying to break me he almost succeeded too he made me thoroughly angry but it's okay because in frustration the one thing it always brings me back to whether it's through my kids or through word is that God loves me and he don't want me to be mad like this he wants me to be happy he wants me to be non-stressed but life's not always like that is it it's not always non-stressful. Sometimes you just pissed off. And it doesn't matter what you do or what you say or how long you're trying. But it doesn't mean that God is angry at you. It doesn't mean that he doesn't understand your frustration. Because he does. He's dealt with it all. He, he gets it. So anyway... It's hard trying to be kind when you're frustrated, but you still have to do it. And why? Because Evie says so. And I'm gonna tell you why I said so. Being when you're frustrated and you're not kind, it doesn't do you any good. It does raises your blood pressure up. It stresses you out. You get you start sweating. You start perspiring. Um, you just mad, mad, mad. You big mad, as my kids would say. You big mad. Okay. And well, what does it get you? Nothing. But the, the focus of your frustration sometimes is people. And sometimes it's just the world around you. But me taking it out on my kids, as I just did, did not make the situation any better. And I can say that because I'm growing as a parent. Kids ain't going to do what you say. Not, not like you want it. If you want the bicycle park directly next to the north wall of the house, up against the, the wall, but not on the faucet, they still not going to do it that way. 
they're gonna throw the ball on the, the 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 bicycle on the ground right outside the house it may be on the same wall that you said but it's not gonna be put up the way you want it and why do you want it like that because you pay for that bicycle you pay for that bicycle you don't want to see it laying in the grass you don't want to see it nowhere but what you said to do but kids don't see it like that they see mom said put the bicycle on the wall of the house okay so that's how i'm gonna do it am i supposed to have a mind-bending experience and lose my freaking mind because they didn't put it up against the wall like that yeah i'm supposed to but do i have to is the question no and that's the kind of frustration i'm talking about today today i was frustrated because i felt like my kids were not helping me the way i needed to be helped i love these carrots they're always so juicy um, and I'm not just talking about on Bueno because it's my first time having Bueno. But generally with a, um, an Italian beef sandwich, they've been soaked in all that juice. And they just, anyway, so good. Stay focused. Um, I was losing it. I was losing it because I was angry at my kids because they weren't doing it the way I want. And for parents like me out there that are... Dealing with you, and, I, and I'm stuttering a little bit and trying to find the right words to say because it's a sensitive situation. And I don't want to offend, but I also don't want to not educate. I'm not a professional. The only license I have is my driver's license. And I have parental permission because I'm a mom. So I can talk about it. We're not going to get everything right with our kids. It doesn't mean we shouldn't strive to try to, though. We're not going to be perfect. When they grow up, they're going to say, Hey, Mom, you did this, 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 and this. You did such and such, such and such, such and such. I didn't like you way you said it. I didn't like you way you did it. They won't be in the house saying that. But they're going to say it. And what you can come back is, because I said so, I did the best I could with what I had. I tried harder. Every time you expressed that I was not doing something the way that you needed me to do it, and I did the best job that I could. But most of the answers that's gonna revert back to is, you did it because I told you to, because I said so. That's really good, it's sweet, but it's really good. So, being frustrated for me today started with my kids. It started with just life in general. Now I would know what your frustration is like today. It's still a pandemic. We still have to wear masks. I agree with wearing masks because it keeps you safe. It keeps you safer. It keeps the people around you safer. Um, and then just life. Moms that don't have babysitters currently yet. People that still haven't been reemployed at their jobs just yet. People that hours have been cut. I'm sorry. Those things happened and we're all dealing with it. And for the people out there that are going through that, I'm praying for you deeply. I am. I'm praying for you. That's not one of my challenges today, but it's yours. And it doesn't make you less of a person or your situation less of anything because it's your struggle. It's a real struggle. And for everybody that's going through something today, I pray that the Lord would bless you. Not just monetarily, not just getting rid of his sickness. I wish he would bless you mentally to hold on just a little bit longer, just a little bit further, to keep holding his hand, that he would guide and protect you and put the blood of Jesus over you. Because in this day and any day from now on, we still need him. We still need him every day. But frustration comes and goes. Jesus don't change. He's the same as he was yesterday, today, and he gonna be the same tomorrow. And that's the way God is too. His love is everlasting to everlasting. From as far as the east is from the west. That's how far he blots out our transgressions. He doesn't hold them against us all the time. And when I get off of here, I'm going to apologize to my children. Because they deserve an apology. Because sometimes we're wrong. We let everything get to us too. And we have to understand that our kids don't get it all the time. They're not adults. They're small adults, but they're not adults. Life has not hit them with every responsibility yet. It hasn't even hit them with 
peer pressures the way we know that it will yet, for the most part. Of course, my teenagers are younger. So those things are coming, and I pray God I can deal with it. I did mention for y'all to pray for me, right? Right? Okay, right, okay. Stay focused. Anyway, so when frustration comes your way today, tomorrow, or whenever, I'm not going to say don't get mad. Just don't try to get even. The Bible says you can be mad, but sin not. And it's easier said than done to sin not. You know you want to cuss her out. You know you want to cuss him out. You know you want to say something messy. You know you want to be petty. But that's not what you're doing. That's not what we're doing. Kindness matters. Compassion matters. Empathy matters. And I know I've said this time and time again, but it's so important. When we grew up, it was all about morals and values. And we don't always have them anymore, but we should be teaching them to our children. Mm. And then, oftentimes, we have to remind ourselves. So, when you're frustrated today, mm, take a breather. Take a moment and say, if what I'm about to say to this person, is it going to upset them? Or is it really going to upset me? Let it run off your back. Move forward. The moment you give in to frustration... It's going to bug you all day. It's going to continue to bug you. And you're going to see all through your day how frustration can creep in. Because it's going to keep on doing it. Because that's the devil's job is to make you mad, to piss you off, to rile you up. Don't do it. Now let's get into compassion. Compassion is key. When I say compassion, think about the moms right now. They don't have enough food. The dads that don't have enough food to feed their kids. Kids have been at home a long time since March the 17th in my, my neck of the woods. I don't have breakfast, lunch, and dinner like that planned out all the time. I mean, we're not hurting for food, so please don't think that I'm saying we poor or we're hurting for food or anything like that. I'm just saying, when you get used to sending your kids to breakfast... Or sending your kids and they have lunch at school. When they come home, you expect to fix them a snack. And then they can generally wait for dinner. So in actuality, you're only providing like a snack, dinner, and then maybe an after dinner snack. So, but it's so many people out here. Like I said before, they've lost their jobs or their hours have been reduced. And they just don't have the money. That's compassion. When you're in the line, in front of you in the drive-thru, pay it forward. Pay for somebody's order behind you. You know, if you can't pay for somebody's order behind you, tell the lady in the drive-thru, you know what, I'll pay for their drinks. If you can't afford everything. Because not all of us can. There are some moms out there that do need some groceries, and I know there are a lot of places out there that are giving out groceries. Matter of fact, Salem Baptist Church, my church home here in Chicago, the House of Hope, gives out groceries quite frequently. So if you're in my vicinity in Chicago, call the church. I'm sure that they'll have another giveaway. I know they had one either Saturday or Friday. Excuse me, y'all. But I know that they were giving away food. And it's not beneath you to accept food. Food is expensive. And if you need it, you just do. We're not judging you. I'm not judging you. I've stood in my fair share of food lines before. And I didn't care if I was being judged because when I came home, I knew my two babies were going to eat. I did mention before I'm a single mom. Their dad is in the picture. He's just out of the picture, in the picture. So he does provide somewhat for his children. So we do have that. And we do have our means otherwise. But I'm saying all this to say, guys, there are other people in this world that are hurting so much more than you. Somebody was burned in a fire. Somebody lost their mom, their dad, their sister, their son, their daughter. There's always some violence here in Chicago going on. And it's around the world, as we can see. Somebody is always, always hurting more than you. Remember that. Even when you're angry or mad, 
Don't forget, you're blessed. You're blessed. I heard a man at the store today. I went in to get some chips. No, I didn't need no chips, but I got them anyway. Matter of fact, uh, crunch. Yeah, give them the chips. I heard him say at the, um, when he was buying his food, he said, what year is this? It's 2020. It's the worst year ever. I hear a lot of people say that. And I too joke about it. 2020 being a bad, quote unquote, bad year. But let me tell you something. It's not a bad year. There are some bad things that have happened this year. But you're still here. You're still here to smile. You're still here to make a difference. You're still listening to your music. You're still bumping in your car. You still got a job. Some of you have more possibilities, endless possibilities that are about to happen to you because you believe and you have faith and you hold on. Your children are still here. You know, you're still able to get up in the morning and put your feet on the floor and walk. You're still able to say, hallelujah, God, one more day, one more chance to get it right. That's what I'm talking about. Compassion for your fellow neighbor, for your friends, for your people that you don't, they're not your friends, but you see them struggling. You see them struggling. You know, if you can do anything to make somebody's day better, do it. If it's reading to a child, do it. If it's somebody in the hospital you see that's going through something like you, say, you know, hello, I see you don't feel well either. You know, but I'm gonna pray for you. Or I'm praying for both of us. Because, you know, you don't wanna censor them out, but you do wanna let them know you care. And then another thing, let me get on this real quick. Teachers, God bless them. God bless them. And I could say God bless them because previous to the kids being home all this time, I thought, well, that teacher don't know what she talking about. Dare she talk about my baby like that? Well, she, my, my kids aren't bad, first of all, and they're not mischievous, but there's some that are, you know, and they're not bad. They just have ways, ways that we think they don't have when they're not in front of us. They, we think all of our children are just the sweetest. They're just so good. Not true. Okay. Some of them have issues. Some of them say things. Some of them do things. And then some of them, you didn't even know they had a problem until the teachers mentioned it. But God bless them. Yes, Jesus. Because now I see what they go through on a daily basis in a classroom. And I only have two kids. Imagine a classroom full of 30 kids. 30. Let's pray for them. Okay? Let's pray for them. They might not have kids in that class right now in that actual classroom. But they're on Google Classrooms. They've had to adjust. They've had to adjust their mindsets. They've had to adjust their time frames. They've had to adjust their planning, their, excuse me, their ways to teach, their ways to reach out, their ways to make online learning interesting in a day in society where the kids could actually be taking class in their bedroom, okay? How do you stay focused with that? Well, these teachers are doing it and they're doing it well. And I'm so proud of them. I'm not a teacher, you know, but I give you guys all your accolades, your flowers right now. And when we get back to the regular things, I'm going to be looking at you guys in a whole different perspective because you're doing your thing so well, so right, so long, and you're staying focused. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, if you guys think that or have a way that you deal with frustration, like you count one to 10, or you breathe, or you um, you get in your car for a moment, please put it in the comments down below. How do you deal with frustration when you're angry? I'd love to read about it. I'd love to read your comments. I'd love to comment back. It's at because Evie said so at gmail.com if you wanna drop me a line. A, a email I'll be sure to email you back um, I would love for you guys to like to share to subscribe and to kick it with me on a regular I love talking to you guys I don't always do a whole bunch of eating and I'm gonna try to do better than that because it's hard to talk and eat 
and eat and then talk. I mean, my mom taught me not to talk with my mouth full, but I guess I'm gonna have to practice a little bit of that, right? Hmm. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you today. I loved you yesterday. And tomorrow, I'll tell you again. Have compassion. Do for others. It'll come back to you, I promise. A hundred thousand fold. Not just that. Hug your kids. Hug them and tell them you love them. Even when they frustrate you. Because they're here. They here. They love you. They don't always show it outwardly. But I guarantee they love you so much. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys again, okay? Love you. Peace out. Bye-bye.